Put those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Even though I expected us to have appreciated God better than we did, but it's okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, sometimes when we hear some testimonies, it's like, uh, and so what? Uh, uh, and so, and so. That's just the attitude I saw. Uh, how many of us, you know you are here, you are that powerful to do the list of all the testimonies we've heard? Raise up your hands. And I will just ask God to transfer that problem to you. And then help you to solve it by yourself. We serve God who is faithful. And he deserves all our praises. The Lord that doeth what no man can do. How excellent is your name. Wait, 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 wait. God bless you. Uncle. How far? The Lord that doeth what no man can do. to him and just appreciate him thank him again for all that he did in our midst on monday appreciate him for the word he sent to us thank him for the covenants that he caught between himself and us let's appreciate him one more time appreciate him will you please raise your voice to him and just appreciate him give thanks to him give thanks to him give him thanks give him thanks what a faithful god we serve what a faithful God we serve. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship you. Be thou exalted. King of glory, be thou exalted. Ancient of days, be thou exalted. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. There's someone here, you've been told that you have kidney stone that needed to be removed by surgery. The Lord said, I should say to you that in his own way, he will dip his fingers into you and he will extract that stone from you. Uh, meaning that there will be no need for any surgery and that problem is solved already. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord said I should rebuke ulcer. 
as many of us who are here that are having ulcer lift up your right hands to the heaven you are here you having ulcer link apostle shenderiyama santa in kalinta ramosa tuliyama ruka zendeliyama ruka shenderia in trima sonto liyama ruka zendelika muskalia i speak over you all the root of ulcer is destroyed in your bodies in the name of jesus by the power in the name of jesus the root of ulcer is destroyed in your lives and as from this hour henceforth that ulcer experience you will have no more in the name of jesus It is gone from you and it is gone forever. It is gone from you and it is gone forever. It is gone from you and it is gone forever. And the last thing God instructed me to do, He said, There are people here you've been having seizures breath seizures you just pass out if you happen to be one of them lift up your right hand where you are god of heavens i speak over this your children you know the cause of all things and you have the solution to all problems and standing under your authority as instructed by you, I make a decree that whatever be the cause of the seizure that this one's experience, by your power, I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. In the lives of as many whose hands are raised up to you, I make a decree that after this time out they will experience seizure no more in the name of jesus you are healed in the mighty name of jesus you are delivered in the mighty name of jesus as the lord lives and his spirit before whom i stand next week thursday all of you in your numbers will stand before this altar to testify to what God has done in the mighty name of Jesus. And I hope that you will be dutiful enough to come and return the glory to him. Father, we thank you. We give glory to you. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Somebody put those hands together for the Lord. May God bless you. May please be seated. Today's our Thanksgiving service. Uh, every lunch hour meeting after the Destiny Encounter service, we devote it to giving thanks to God. There's just nothing we can give him to appreciate him for all he has done than for us to give thanks to him. Uh, while we were dancing and we came out dancing, I'm sure some of you are wondering, uh, this man is no longer anointed. See the way he's dancing. Uh, very soon we'll go into this session of thanksgiving and i pray that you won't remain where you are dancing giving thanks to god that you would displace yourself in dancing to him so that god can displace all the problems of your life for you in the name of jesus let me appreciate pma for that wonderful session of praises pma is the acronym for pastor Moji Alawiye. Let's put our hands together for her. the only woman that is strong enough to manage Reverend Sam Alawiye. I you know this one is very unique, very unique in her style of worship, very unique in her style of singing. And when the thing enters her and she does like this, then you know the spirit has taken over. Please, somebody, let's celebrate God's grace in our life.
She was supposed to have been on her way back to Ibadan, but I said, no, you have to stay. As a matter of fact, I used my apostolic authority to push our trip till tomorrow. Thank you for obliging us. God bless you, ma. And of course, Reverend Sam Alawiye is no longer uh, a visitor here. He's a part of this move. Praise the Lord. And very shortly, he will be coming up to bless us in the word, just for 15 minutes. I think we, ha oh, we don't have 15 minutes again. Ten, 10 minutes, so that we have five minutes for our Thanksgiving. Uh, how many of us are yet to receive our sticker for the year? The S flight, you are yet to receive it? Okay, very few. I hope the ushers still have. Please, ushers, if you still have stickers, please give to those who don't have. And I want to encourage those of us who were not here when we ministered on the theme for the year, the spirit flight, please try and get the message and listen to it. It will help you to prepare yourself for what God has already prepared for you in this year. Uh, if you just put that sticker on your car and people ask you, what is S-Flight? You won't have an answer for them, except you have listened to that message and you have an understanding of what the message says. Um, I also want to encourage us, at the end of each meeting, the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There are certain things you won't hear until you have listened a second time. It doesn't cost you anything to get the message. I think it's 200 naira they sell it. Go and listen to it again and again. Take it line upon line, precept upon precept. And the Lord will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Those who are worshipping with us for the first time, especially those who came for the first time for the Destiny Encounter service on Monday, after the benediction, I will be here standing, and as I promised, I will shake hands with you, and then a token will be put in your hands. Please treat that token well because it will redefine your life and your existence here on earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. With Jesus, Jesus' joy, please, let's make welcome all the way from Ibadan, our Father inside the stomach of God, <laughs> Reverend Sam Alawi. Hallelujah. Today is not a day for preaching. We may be seated. Thank you. The Lord bless you mightily. I think I'm here to give thanks and to give him praise for what this year is about to release. What a great way to begin the year. We thank you, Pastor Peter, for accepting the call of Jehovah. I'm reading Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Whenever we gather together for thanksgiving, it's always a divine setup. God himself is always waiting for a season like that to do something because... It will take people who can think very, very deeply to have a reason to give thanks. Because the needs of men are so much that you don't always pay attention to what has been done. Our attention is always what is on what has not been done. So God will always set us up many times because he desires us to return with thanksgiving to do something. He said, out of them we come thanksgiving. This word came after Jerusalem has gone through trouble. And there have been a lot of them. God said, I'm going to restore them. 
People thought it was over for them. God said, out of this same people, we come and we flow. Thanksgiving. And not that alone, voice of them that make merry. If you know what it means for the voice of people that make merry to flow, you will understand that our Thanksgiving today has to be with noise. Has to be with excitement. Has to be with you behaving like a baby. You will not be behaving like the MD that you are. You are a king when it comes to the things of the world. When you come to this kind of environment, you are a priest. And when you are a priest, you have nothing to brag of. You release all those positions. You release yourself like King David. You dance like a baby before the mighty one of Israel. The one who make you king and priest unto himself. By your power, you have not made yourself. He made you a king so be able to exercise authority over the things he has created. But when you enter into a place like this, you drop that kingship. You are no more a king. You behave like a baby because you recognize that where you are now, you are a priest of the Lord. How do you know a priest? You know a priest by the garment you wear. You know a priest by who he worship. You know a priest by the way he behaves before the one that consecrates him as a priest. The book of Revelation says you have not made yourself. He made you a king and a priest unto himself. And the Bible says when they do that, he said, I will multiply them. He said, after they have done that, he said, I will glorify them. No wonder each time he wants to show the anointing for multiplication, there must be a need. And the Bible says, he sat people down in the book of Matthew. He says, let them sit down. He said, I'm going to do something for them. Matthew chapter 15 verse 32. 40. He said, let them be seated. Let the multi be seated. They say, we have nothing more than seven loaves of bread and few fishes. He said, no problem. All he did was to lift it up and give thanks. And immediately he gave thanks. There was multiplication. How do you talk about when he appeared at the tomb of Lazarus? When he's supposed to be speaking in tongue. All he did is that, Lord, I thank you because you always answer me. And I know you will answer me now again. And when you go downward, he said, I have said this not because of myself, but because of these people. I wouldn't have even prayed this long prayer. This one is too long. But for them not to say, I'm not a prayer person. That's why I've done this. Oh my goodness. And all he says, say, Lazarus, come forth. And what happened? Lazarus came forth. Somebody is coming out of that grave today. Oh my goodness. Multiplication is coming to someone this day. Glorification is coming to someone this day. As we dance as a priest, as we turn off our kingship robe, and we put on our priesthood robe, and we dance before the Almighty God, ladies and gentlemen, something great is about to happen. Get ready. Now lose yourself if nobody lose you. That's the end of the message. Oh, are you still waiting for my message? Come next week. Come next week for the more message. There will be more messages next week. But today, our assignment is to do what? Give him test. How many of you are ready for multiplication? Oh my God. How many of you are ready for glorification? <laughs> hey! He's the one that can do that. And ladies and gentlemen, as we gather now, please lead us. I don't know whether we are bringing our Thanksgiving offering now or what, or we are standing there because of time. Okay, they stand there because of time. And uh, we just go ahead. Now, if nobody is dancing beside you, that is a time bomb. Disappear from the person. Because that person will soon explode. So don't allow him to explode on your body. Now, just make sure that you are within the people that are getting crazy for the goodness and the blessedness of the mighty one of Israel. Why we are doing the Thanksgiving? Why we are doing the Thanksgiving? If you are first time, I dance to this side, and Pastor will be shaking you to save time. And please don't go until we pray on the Thanksgiving offering instruction from the prophet of the house. Please, the Lord will keep you.
in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, man. just told now to make this announcement that some people are behaving funny. They are trying to steal. May I say to you, if you come for this meeting and you take what does not belong to you, all the problems living the lives of the people, you will heap it on your head and go with it. As a matter of fact, I make this decree from today under God. Anybody that comes here to steal anything, that person's lifespan will be reduced to seven days. Except God has not called me. Anybody that comes here ends forth and steals, that person has a maximum of seven days to live. And the seal of the Lord will perform it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, put your back down and dance. Let the person dare it and steal. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say, we say thank you, Lord. I 
Does Jesus have the final say in your life? Somebody pray.
Ekesha! If you feel like shouting in the church, you better shout because if you don't do it here, you may get to the office and you begin to shout. <laughs> <laughs> In your office, your MD may not like your noise, but your father said, Make a joyful noise to me. Okay, make it now. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this divine setup. You have set us up today for multiplication and glorification. We have plugged ourselves into your setup. As we set out of this place, let us begin to step into that multiplication. Let us begin to step into that glorification. Where we have been at the level of 30 before, begin to take us to the level of 100%. Things that has been few, you say we shall not be few. Therefore, let there be multiplication. Abundance is our portion this year. We are starting on this note, it will never be less than this. Next one will be greater and greater than this. The rest of your day is blessed. The rest of your day is blessed. The rest of your day is blessed. Day is blessed. Thank you, mighty one of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Hallelujah. Well, I, I don't know what you're coming with next week. Some may come with cups, some may come with buckets, some may come with drums, some may come with thank. Because our theme for next week is let it rain. <laughs> let it rain. The rain of God's blessings will fall on us next week in Jesus' name. Now for those who came out on Monday and they came out with the mind of surprising God, you are here with your own gift. After the benediction, I will quickly pray with you on the altar. May we join our hands together as we say the benediction. Okay, if you want to jam, you can jam. Say, join your hands together. Amen. And please invite someone along next week. Especially someone you are trusting God to turn his situation around. Tell the person God's rain will fall. And I can assure you that rain will fall. In Jesus' name. The grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you as you go in Jesus' name. Thanksgiving mode will continue in Jesus' name. I was told that the table calendars are still available. Please get yours. Those who are coming with their surprise, please, if anybody is around, quickly, before I step down, quickly. Anyone like that? Any other person? Jehovah, 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 Jehovah.